hydrolophone is the world's first type of instrument that makes sound from vibrations in water. You take your finger and you place it on one of the water jets uh, and you block that water jet. So that is the way you, that you play different musical notes. What that does is that forces the water back inside the instrument into the sounding mechanism, the sounding chamber, and, and then it resonates. So, so you can, you're just battling with that water, but in a very subtle way, with gently how your finger very subtly rocks around the turbulence of the water to change the sound in minute ways. What we basically have is underwater sound pickups that can really hear that that tiny little vibration up close inside the instrument. This is a hydrolophone that, that drinks. You have to uh, feed it pressurized water, force it into it so that it can create that pressure that you play. And that's done with a pump and a water filter. And so uh, in those aquariums, we're actually recirculating the water in a loop. Um, so, so there's a pump underwater, and then it forces it out, and then you get the water back. And this is a very different type of hydrolophone that is visually different, and it's played different with all the fingers working in harmony underwater in a very compact aquarium space. So you're, you're very tightly wound in there, and it's a see-through instrument. It almost evokes an underwater sea creature kind of aesthetic. One interesting feature of this hydrolophone, when you play it in a certain way, it makes a really raw, deep, rumbling bass sound. Den her hydrolophone, det er nok et af de mest spændende instrumenter, jeg nogensinde har spillet på. Det er helt utroligt organisk og meget, meget sandsligt at spille på de her vandstråler. Og så kan man jo lege med vibrafer og alle mulige andre små finesser, som jeg, som jeg stadigvæk undersøger. Så jeg glæder mig til at få meget mere tid med det her instrument. Whenever you completely have a new instrument, yeah, uh, it, it, it's very experimental because you have to have the science and the music performance really working together. So it's a constant back and forth process. So there will be more hydrolophones that blossom out of this design in the future.